so I've never really liked typical networking events I don't find them very natural and maybe this is just a me thing I did get my degree on creation and development of enterprises so it's kind of an entrepreneurial degree you know like hustle culture and a business degree but on steroids so I don't regret it I learned so many things, it took me so many places, however, it was kind of the norm to hustle and overdraft yourself of energy. So this kind of brought my masculine energy at its peak and I did get burned out like several times. I did learn in the process that you cannot work just on masculine energy as a woman it does not serve you i learned my lesson let's just say that but anyway um within the program we were encouraged like to go and to events and meet new people and like very agenda oriented and as i said i found it like it was very forced i i didn't like it and i really do like meeting people in like um, just opening new circles and new energies. I love it, yes I do. However, that didn't feel natural to me. So, now that I live another life and I'm more than realigned with my energy, I found the formula for women that want to network. And the thing is, it's so fascinating because it's actually networking without networking. What I have been doing in the past uh, probably a couple of years, like very intention intentionally, um, I've been attending a lot of like meetup groups and just going and hanging out, you know, like for lunch or dinner sometimes or even like um, like organized activities. Like it's like being a tourist without being a tourist in your city. So I've done that and I've met a lot of people and i say this because you actually go with the purpose to have fun but because you are having fun you are more likely to connect with other people uh, from different backgrounds like obviously everybody has a story but you connect in something like fun and like when your energy is high and in good vibes and everybody's enjoying your, themselves so to me that actually forms like um more genuine connection so i've been doing that a lot and that's where i have met a lot of men and when there's not much pressure like you can get to know people in a social setting and i feel it like it's more natural because you have already skipped like the interacting part like you already broke the ice and it's less awkward in my opinion so that's one thing and the other is that when you make friends or make connections by having fun you don't even realize like that that, that lady is a doctor that lady does this that man uh, has this and this business so the other day i realized and i was like oh my god from some point in time to now I've met a wide range of people that have so many different businesses like that are involved in very um, interesting activities. Like I wouldn't hesitate to call them if I had like a inquiry or if I needed help because you already established a connection. So this is my way of networking without actually networking. I've also, because for those who don't know, I'm about to conclude like a one year sommelier program. So for me, this has been like very fruitful. I like within the class, I've made like really good friends. And that has taken me to a whole other range of places and other groups and one group leads to another group. And you find that people are so very interesting. And you can talk like in a very informal setting 
and when you least realize like for example yesterday i went to a wine tasting and i had met a man before like a couple of weeks ago i think and we established a conversation he approached me and we had a nice time and normally after we have like the tasting we go and grab um dinner and probably share like another bottle of wine and we were talking and it turns out that this man has like this and this and this business and like when you establish connections like from genuine intention if you ever needed anything like in the future like it will be so much easier to call that person you know like i once applied to a job that it was like uh for to sell like insurance and from the beginning the the first flat red flag was like they would ask you like for your whole um phone directory and it's like oh and call this person and call this person and call this person and it's for me selling like that or approaching people like that when you have like a hidden agenda is not does not feel good to me like at all i obviously didn't take that job at the moment but i think it's very healthy for you to make connections in a genuine way i know that sometimes we want to date or sometimes we need to get a sale or i know that but if you nourish yourself and your activities and things you actually like to have fun with um, these things will come naturally and before you know it you will have like a whole lot of contacts on your phone list who you can actually call and it won't feel like awkward and yeah i cannot tell you how many people i've met in the past two years two months like it's really incredible and i do recommend it especially for ladies because for men probably they can go and get a deal and they don't even need to like each other but for women it's very important that your energies like connect like like it doesn't feel awkward like you build a little bit of trust because as women we, we are always guarded because like i mean especially with the current state of affairs with the world like i understand that we need to be careful but we also have to be open to receive new energies new opportunities so yeah that's how i network now i basically just go out and have a lot of fun and have very interesting conversations. And when I actually need something, if I really do, I know that I can call a person and they will actually come through and vice versa as well. And yeah, this also will benefit you for, to make like more people to date or make new friends. That's also a very good way to do it. So um, yeah. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night.